Sir Jim Ratcliffe, the new owner of Manchester United, is set to make significant changes to the club's operations. One of the key areas that Ratcliffe and his team will focus on is fixing the long-standing recruitment problem. They believe that the club's scattergun transfer policy over the past decade has been a major factor in the team's struggles. They are considering bringing in multiple recruitment experts to rectify years of wastage and muddled thinking. Another challenge for Ratcliffe is appointing a new CEO. Richard Arnold recently left the club, leaving a vacant position that needs to be filled. Jean-Claude Blanc, the former Juventus chief executive, is a strong candidate for the role. Ratcliffe will hope to have an ally installed in this position to ensure a smooth transition. The standoff with Jadon Sancho is another issue that Ratcliffe will have to address. Sancho has been in exile for over three months, and Ratcliffe will need to determine if a reconciliation is possible. However, if offers come in for Sancho, it could test the agreement between Ratcliffe and the Glazers. Getting rid of Deadwood players is also a priority for Ratcliffe. Anthony Marshall and Sergio Regilin are among the players who may be moved on in January. Ratcliffe aims to create a strong team ethic and eliminate any disruptive influences within the squad. There are concerns about manager Eric Ten Hag's performance this season. Despite initial success, recent results have been poor, and there are doubts about his coaching abilities and the team's lack of identity. Ratcliffe's arrival will intensify the spotlight on Ten Hag. Injury prevention is another area that Ratcliffe will focus on. United has suffered from a high number of injuries this season, and Ratcliffe will explore ways to improve injury prevention strategies. Ratcliffe will also need to navigate UEFA's multi-club ownership rules. He owns both Manchester United and Nice, a French club, and must ensure compliance with UEFA regulations to avoid any potential bans. Lastly, Ratcliffe will need to lay out a plan for Old Trafford. The stadium has been neglected for too long, and fans are eager to see improvements. Ratcliffe's investment in infrastructure will be a step in the right direction, but more needs to be done to meet the stadium's needs. Overall, Ratcliffe faces several challenges as he takes control of Manchester United's football operations. It remains to be seen how he will tackle these issues and bring about positive changes to the club.